there's an ongoing or well, there's a complaint that's in existence somewhere, which um, it should be. Well, let's put it this way: as far as I'm concerned, yeah. the date on this, if it had come up to Merthyr. I should have been contacted, and this, this is the copy of my solicitor on the 14th of May, okay. 2018. So that means Francis is a lying fucker. So what I'll do is I'll have 3,000 leaflets done. Right. So I'll say it so they know to arrest at Cardiff. I'll go around Penarth. Okay. I'll have 3,000 doors put through lovely people's houses, saying, according to Merthyr, please, Superintendent Francis. Yeah. The girls in one six nine four is a lying cunt. I'll fucking put it on the leaflet. Leave Cardiff, please arrest me. The sooner this gets in the court, the happier I'll be. So this person must be lying then. Can I ask, just to try and to try and get you a resolution that you want? I want this in court if you want I, the truth. Well, I know, I, I know that, but I want to try and get the answers you you need. But so, I, you don't mind me asking, but after you heard in this. Can you believe that this is possible? With My, anyone with moral integrity yeah. would never have allowed this to happen. I mean, what I, what I want to do, it's been... It's Two and a half hard. years, three years ago, yeah. my mother said to my psychiatrist, Doctor, yeah. there seems to have been an unholy alliance made okay. four times in this meeting, it's all recorded, yeah. between the mental health of Merthyr, Merthyr Police yeah. and Merthyr Council, okay. and everything points. After being advised to get cameras, listen to this, listen to this. Yeah. Just according to Claire Blackmore, oh, we can't do anything about antisocial behaviour, the government's to blame. It's on recording. Yes. Sullivan's going round telling people it isn't happening. Yeah. And according to the mental health, you can't blame the youth because they're under the age of 18. Does that make sense? Right. Uh, that's, what, does that make what sense? What I'm going to ask is, can you give me... A short opportunity to try and get the answers you've been asking for. I intend getting Merthyr Police come to our yeah. and Merthyr Council into court. Okay. Because I don't have to speak. All I've got to do is leave my solicitor play them recordings. And, and that's I've got that right. sergeant. How many sergeants have you got whose first name, whose surname, his Christian name is Neil? I won't give you the surname yet. Do you want to find out? Because he, yeah. he was he's the not, sergeant. He's not here anymore, so there's Callum, Callum O'Neill. Is no, not Sir Christian name, Neil. Christian name, Neil. Oh, Neil Jeffries. He's an acting sergeant. Phoned me up and said, after I... Well, in fact, I, I would come to about Someone's windscreen got smashed in the street. Right. A PCSO came up my house to ask for the images. This is what cracks me up. Something happens in the street, they're quick enough to knock the door. Can we have the images, you know? Okay. So I give the boy the image and I told him straight, I wouldn't piss over you fuckers. If you were on fire, I'd be truthful. Okay. I've got no respect. No. All right? right? Yeah. I don't know. You tell me, as someone with mental health issues, especially ex-service veterans with PTSD, are they mentals? God, no. Are they? No. So why the fuck do they and call them this in this the station? The point I made was, if they had said that about a lesbian, a homosexual, a Muslim or a Jew, they'd have been in court in the morning. Yeah, I get, I get, I get exactly. No, there's too much have gone on no, under the table I, now. And all I'll say is, as someone who wasn't here then, uh, like I said, I came here May 2019. So all I'm asking is kind of an opportunity to try and get you the answers you've been asking. For. Yeah, but what I'm not having, yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, no, and that's fine. I'll try. I know you've been waiting, and I know you've asked. No, it's it's going because at the end of the day. You can't stop me putting leaflets out. And, and, and you want to arrest me, you better have a good fucking excuse. I mean, because I just, you can't. No. I've had leaflets done, I've changed the word fucking to shagging. Right. So I'm asking is Sullivan shagging her? Okay. I've taken out the nigger. I'm not racist, far from it. I never have been. No. I asked. And I've put it for the N word. And I've changed uh, the word at the end, which is true. Chris, when I said to Chris, I know he knew this cunt's work at Come to Health. And he said, I know. It's on voice recording. Yeah. I've taken out a couple of the, the letters in the cunt word. Excuse the language, man. And then the other thing is, why did, when he asked for his information from yeah. the head for the Come to Why did they phone the, the police? And why was it dropped in court? That he'd asked right. for them Lots of different then. questions then. So, um, well, it's the same one, really, but it's coming from two people. No, no, there's a couple I was supposed to have been in so, court charged with harassment, which yes. I, I don't speak to him. So has anyone actually told you why the case was discontinued? No. Right, okay. Do you want to know that answer? Go on. Because... Nobody wanted to go to court? No, because we had to get some clarification from the Crown Prosecution Service, and Lee Webber was tasked with understanding why 